What's going on there, Gemini? I hope you're all doing well. Today, we're going to be doing a reading for you for your near future. See what's going to go down. Yeah. Just FYI, I pre shuffled these cards really hard. Yeah. Please do hit the like and shuffle. Um, like and shuffle. Like and subscribe. That would be very awesome if you did that. And uh, yeah, we'll see what's going to go down for you, Gemini. Yeah. I'm gonna get all the cards out first. Yeah. Moon energy. Hmm. I believe that's three of pentacles, yep. Mm-hmm. Knight of Pentacles. Two of Swords. Five of Cups. Nine of Swords, wow. Knight of Cups, a lot of action going down, that's good. The Empress, who? Five Cups, uh, um, five of Pentacles, I mean. And two of Pentacles, a lot of, a lot of Pentacles here. Whew. Yeah, bottom of the deck, <clears throat> seven of pentacles. Okay, these cars all showing up. Yeah, it seems like it is a little bit off, but whatever. That's cool. So, the moon card. To me, the moon card is quite significant. So, yeah. What I mean by that, it's acting on base instincts here. Could be out of fear, sexuality, um, lack, things like that. Very base instincts. I'm not saying that's a bad thing, but usually it is. Yes. In this case, um, it seems like you're going to be acting out of fear. Yeah. Or overthinking. Because we have the overthinking card right underneath that. That is very much, um, yeah, feeling tired, right? <clears throat> it's not quite, yeah. How can I put that? It's just, it's just your mind is going to go everywhere. You do not know where you're going to go, where what you should do uh, in this instance anyway. And you're going to be acting out of... Um, <clears throat> It feels like fear. Yeah. Yeah. Your logical mind is going to go like, hmm, this cannot go on any longer. I have to make change because it's definitely the card of not being able to sleep, right? This may also be a lack of sleep reading. I'm not sure. You will know what this is about, but something has been on your mind, Gemini. And you do not, um, yeah, at least right now or in the near future, you're going to be acting out of this mindset. Yeah, not being able to sleep. It's something that is going to be on your mind. You're going to be uh, trying to, definitely trying to do something about it. Yes. Next card, next section, we have the working together card, building yourself, right? Could it be career, could it be spiritual? Um, I sense it might be yourself, yes. Mm -hmm. Looking at all the cards here, could also be, I, I'm not really sure, but that's what I'm sensing. Uh, it may also be career, but the biggest um, intuitive sense that I get is uh, yourself, your spiritual self. Working on yourself, building your church, right? That's what the card depicts, and you are the ch church here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're going to be doing something about it because we have the Knight of Cups here. Knight of Cups. Definitely taking action on your emotions, right? So you know something is wrong, right? Could be in regards to love or something that you... Maybe even self-love. Maybe you're very depressed or anxious about something. And 
seems like you're gonna be working towards a better self here yeah especially with these two cards following that because this is the knight of pentacles um this is acting on your emotions right yeah gonna be working on yourself and this is bringing it into reality it goes from emotions from thinking feeling to acting right if you i feel you're going to be growing spiritually with this card it's slow moving it's a slow process but you're going to be better yeah you're going to make yourself better why do i feel that because the empress there empress is like uh, yeah when you look at the original well original is it the original i don't know but um the right right away deck yeah the empress sits on the throne and she got a heart underneath right and the clothing that she has on is pomegranates has pomegranates on it that's a big reference to uh kabbalah and according to the tree of life and all that the empress understands herself where the emotions come from so this whole reading is also almost in the center here it's definitely a understanding yourself reading coming to understand your spiritual self it may also be in regards to morality that's definitely something that i'm hearing right now uh, perhaps you're not moral in a sense here um, you just live in your life just like everybody else but you may realize that this is not the right path and therefore you're looking to improve yourself like trying to understand why do i do the things that i do or why do i don't do the things that i don't do right <laughs> yeah mm -hmm. understanding your spiritual self and in doing so understanding the whole world yeah it seems like you want to change yourself that's a hard thing to do that's really a hard thing to do because everybody wants change but nobody wants to change yeah <laughs> You want the world to be perfect, but yeah, nobody wants to put any effort into making the world a better place. They just want it to magically appear. Yeah. But it seems like you're going to be putting in some effort on working on yourself here, understanding your emotions, understanding your own psyche, your understanding your anxiety, perhaps. Why? you have these animal instincts going on yeah why you have all this fear there's anxiety Whew. why do i also feel that this is um moral has a lot to do with morality because the two of two of swords here yeah <clears throat> see that moon here's the moon again yeah it's making the right choice in life yeah, she sits. Well, in this tarot deck, it's not a cubic throne, but the cub cubic throne uh, is a indication of a ascended um, psyche, really, um, to think deeper, to yeah, not be in base instincts, but to be evolved, right? Coming not just a square, but actually the square becoming. 3d right that's a egyptian symbology in tarot yeah and then you got the uh that's also egyptian the hands cross the arms cross the left one is usually the bad <laughs> and the right is the good right in her perspective and that's no accident the the right arm goes over the moon the moon is usually well it's um represented by femininity 
and uh, the negative sense too. Not saying that females are bad, not not at all. It's just the way that it is. Yeah, the sun is good, moon is bad. So making the right choice over the bad choice. Yeah, feeling it out, blind to it, right? Yeah. So I feel this has a lot to do with making the right choice in life here to grow spiritually. Mm -hmm. Now, with that choice, you may feel uh, that you're not adequate enough because we have the Five of Pentacles here. That's definitely a card of um, illness, um, feeling left out, feeling not good enough, right? And our sense here and what the message is here in this reading, yeah, feeling not good enough. And that is fine. That is fine. Keep that in mind. Not everybody's perfect. Your soul evolution may take millions of years, especially here on Earth. It's going to take many, many lifetimes. But the first step is to recognize what's going on. And it seems like that is exactly what you're going to be doing. You may be feeling stuck with this card. Like, how can I live a better spiritual life if I have to bills to pay things like that yeah mm -hmm. and that's gonna leave you emotionally not in a good space yeah because we have the lag card feeling what you uh, don't have in your life right perhaps the spiritual evolution you're going gonna go like wow is that bad? Not maybe not on a personal level, but on a um, uh, how do you say that? A worldwide level, yeah. Because uh, people may see look at themselves and think like, "Oh, we are the top of the food chain. Yeah, we are super um, whatever." Right? Not by a long shot. No, we are devolving. Just saying, <laughs> especially if you do research in the spiritual, yeah, yeah. Where the minds are at these days, whew, it's just going pretty bad. And um, that's what I'm sensing here. You may discover this and trying to better yourself. You will better yourself, but you're going to feel like more alone than ever. Yeah, this happened to me too. Just FYI, I did studies that made me feel like really bad. Yeah, it took me months to get out of it. Yeah. About the state of humanity. Wow. Yeah. But um, it seems like you're going to be leveling out. You're going to bring balance to this emotional... Um, um, hmm, what's the best word? Emotional backlash? Yeah. In this choice you're going to make? In this spiritual evolution? Yeah. You're going to find balance. Um, you're going to level yourself out. There's still going to be uh, a lot of ups and downs. There's definitely a card about that as well. But, um, yeah. Bringing balance and... This might be a balance between spiritual work and your normal day-to-day -day life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow, Gemini. Phew. And then the underlying energy. Yeah. Uh, another balance card, right? I feel this is you becoming a better human. Yeah. Yeah. Realizing that everybody's... Well, almost everybody is just act. Yeah, they just act on the information that has been given to them. And you realizing this and you have mercy on them. Yeah, that's what that represents in this reading, I feel. That's what I'm sensing here. Yeah, have a mercy, spiritual mercy, because they are in the dark. And it seems like you're going to be going closer to the light, which is represented by morality, I feel, in this reading. Mm -hmm. Wow. That was a mouthful, huh? Holy moly. 
Anyway, there you go, Gemini. I hope you liked it. Probably not. I don't really care. But um, see you guys in the next video. All right. And do it. Hit the like button. Even if you didn't enjoy it. Yeah. All right. Bye-bye. Have a good one.